Hey guys, welcome back. So this week is fandom week and I'm going to be talking to you guys about fan fiction and fan art. And before you get all cringy, I'm not going to start reading anything. I'm just going to talk about it and my experiences with it and stuff like that. So with fan fiction, I know a lot of people post on their blogs, but most people post on Archive of Our Own. And there, the thing that I like about that is the search bar, because you can search anything. You can search um, pairings, fandoms, tags, anything like that. But if you want to go to the search bar, you can type in, if you want to read a story about Obama and Shrek, which you can, in case you want to look that up. Um, you can, and if you want to read a story where the major character dies, I don't know why you would, but you can. You just check the little box and then it'll give you a whole bunch of stories where the main character dies. I know a really popular tag is like fluff. Everybody loves some fluff. <laughs> um, but you can also do kudos, which are like little thank yous that you can leave. So if you want to go to your specific... Um, fandom or pairing or anything like that, you can go and you can read the stories about them with the most views or the most kudos on them or the most comments, stuff like that. They're usually the popular ones, which means that they're usually pretty good. Um, there's also a lot of blogs dedicated based on what fandom you're in and stuff like that um, that have their whole blog set up with pairing. The other thing is fan art. Um, I see that all over Tumblr you can search that in the search bar too. If you want to see a picture of Obama and Shrek hugging or doing some other things, you just gotta type it into the search bar. But I know a lot of people post their stuff on DeviantArt, which is like a huge, huge website. It's full of like a bunch of edits, there's um, original drawings, there's screen caps from interviews and stuff like that. If you want to see a bunch of pictures of One Direction, you just type in and people have a whole bunch of fan drawn pictures of the four of them just looking cute. The most important thing though is if you see a picture that you like and you want to post it somewhere, you can either post the link that you found it on or tie or tag the person who you took it from, anything like that. Just make sure that you give credit to the original poster. The same thing goes with fan fiction. Don't copy and paste somebody else's work and post it on your own thing and pretend that you wrote it and get all the credit for it. Just write your own stuff. So yeah, if you guys want any fic recs or anything like that, you can leave a comment and I'll get back to you. I'll let you know what my favorite stuff is. Or if you have trouble working any of the websites, you can leave a comment. Um, also, comment below and leave some recommendations for other people. That would be a cute thing. Also, comment below and let me know what fandoms you're in. So if we have anything in common, we can talk about it. So that's all for this week. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. If you have any comments or questions, like I said, just leave them below. I'll tag both the websites that I talked about in the description. And yeah, I'll see you all next week. Bye!